It is December 12th. I think it's Vlogmas Day 13. Hello, welcome to Walmart where I'm buying cheetah print bowls. And now we are going to Target and TJ Maxx. One of my coworkers saw my unicorn that I got for the two girls and she wanted one for her own daughter and she lives pretty far away from Walmart and for me it's right on the way. So I stopped in to get her one. That was all I was supposed to get was one unicorn. But I ended up getting these beautiful cheetah print serving bowls. So they're basically like a bowl set but the lids come with. So if you're like me and my boyfriend, you make food in that said bowl like mashed potatoes or something and then and instead of putting into a smaller leftover container, you can just put it right in the fridge. It's perfect. We use bowls like that on Thanksgiving for when my parents came over. I ended up getting two advent calendars, a Reese's one and a Hershey's Kisses one. They're supposed to be $5, but mine had it on sale for a dollar, probably because December is practically halfway over already. So I'm not gonna say no to dollar chocolate. So when I get home, I'll open them up and we'll see what's all in there. I'm assuming that there's multiple flavors of Hershey Kisses or maybe they're just milk chocolate. And, and these are just, various assorted Reese's, which I like all sorts of Reese's. So $2 for a bunch of chocolate is right up my alley. I'm gonna go to Dunkin' right now and then we will scoot on off to TJ Maxx and Target. A medium iced of the signature gingerbread latte. Medium iced signature gingerbread latte. And then one thing of hash browns and then the 10 cut munchkins in it. You can just do assorted. Thank you. I'm trying to remember to bring my gift card because I have a Dunkin' gift card and I could just load it on my phone or bring it here and I keep forgetting. He gave me the munchkins upside down so now I have powdered sugar on my seat. So one thing I always keep in my car are car wipes. These are just from Walmart for days when I'm being a slob or I've spilled my coffee or I've got powdered sugar all over my seats. Anybody else keep them in your car? Um, with my other car, I didn't bother because it was like 15 years old, but like since this one is only three years old, I just want to keep her nice and clean. But actually, once I had my new car, I don't think I ate in it for like a month straight because I was just so terrified of spilling in it. But now I've kind of come to grips with, you know, spills happen and maybe I should put the seat cover on because this seat has this one and that seat, I uh, washed it and then never put it on. So also I should probably do that. But we're at TJ Maxx, let's go in. One day COVID will be over. So I agree that it's quite warm right now in Wisconsin. It's about 34 right now. So you really don't need to wear a coat. It's not that cold and horrible, but 32 degrees is a little bit cold to be wearing shorts. So. I don't know, if you're standing outside in a line like that, it might make you regret your life decisions. My boyfriend is one of the most impossible people to shop for and he's basically the last person I have left to get things besides I'm looking for slippers for my mom and I can't remember if she's a seven or an eight. Either my dad will come through and tell me what her size is or I'll snoop around on Wednesday when I'm home. So we went to TJ Maxx intending to get slippers for my mother and um, something for my boyfriend and we leave with nothing but stuff for myself chocolate peanut butter cup K cups. I got it for $4.99. Honestly, I think this is like a bath headband, like the yellow one I was wearing in one of my uh, night routine videos. And it was $7.99, but it kind of sounds like there's a bottle of something in there. And I tried to open it, but I couldn't get it open. So let's see what's in here. So it's a headband that you can wear when you're putting treatments and stuff on your face. And then it has oh no four different types of masks there's a purifying glow mask a rose mask a japanese matcha tea mask and another british rose they're all sorts of plumping glowing masks and purifying oh but there's another one and then there's a japanese matcha tea so for eight dollars i got five different masks and a little headband um the yellow one's kind of getting stained and i was like oh my god how festive and cute Dear Santa, I can explain. I'm trying to buy gifts for other people, but it's just not working. My powder brush is old, so I got a new one of those. Some new toothpaste. I have a brush cleaner thing, but I saw this and I really like the tray of a solution, I guess you could say, that you can use to clean the brushes with. But I feel like this would be the best to get that last little bit of makeup out and make sure it's clean. And this was $4.99. So I think maybe I'll show you guys today how I clean my brushes. And then I got this little holiday syrups collection. If we have Christmas at my boyfriend's, I'm gonna bring these with. I have the peppermint and the dark chocolate at home, but I don't have macadamia nut gingerbread. And I have a toasted marshmallow, but it's almost out. The nice thing about these is they're not sugar-free and a lot of the coffee syrups I have are sugar-free. And honestly, I'm a sugary type of person. I like more sugar. And then I found this other Champion Sports Bra. I got one a couple of weeks ago. They're so affordable, they're $5.99. Um, I just had to get it and then I got 
this little container of moon crystal sparkling eye pigment you can't even see the product i have no idea what it looks like but it was $2.99 and i fell for the packaging so $40 at the good old tj maxx i'm in the home goods parking lot right now and I'm gonna go in there and see if I can find anything for Dan. The only thing I can think of is he really wants a mandolin, which I have absolutely no idea. It's like a cutting kitchen thing, but I don't know anything about mandolins or kitchen stuff. So I'm not the kind of person that should be buying him that. And then he also wants like a Duluth Trading Company hoodie. But those are like $50 and the shipping is outrageous. Like $13 for shipping for a sweater. Editing me, I also wanted to add that this is what he asked for from his Secret Santa. So he's probably getting one already and I have no idea which one they chose. So with my luck, I'd give him the exact identical one that his Secret Santa is getting him. So that's just the easy gift. I just want to walk into a store and have something like pop out of me. And I'm like, oh my God, that is what he needs needs because he already has three Duluth Trading Company hoodies he doesn't need another and then okay this is the moon crystal Kaja Kaja pat on lids with fingers and blend out I have no makeup on right now so putting glitter eyeshadow on in the car is probably not one of my smartest ideas but let's just go with it it's cute now I don't know what to do with my blue finger how many napkins because I threw them all away with my Duncan hmm I'm a chaotic mess and I'm aware of it. So now I have blue eyeshadow and nothing else. It's like 90s Monica coming out to play. To add to the chaos, let's add some purple mascara to this blue eyeshadow. Just to complete the chaotic mess. Wonderful. Beautiful. Okay, let's go in Home Goods. Outfit of the day in the Home Goods bathroom. Okay. Mask at Shop Kelly Danielle. Dear Santa sweater, old Walmart. These are Nike Pro leggings. I got them from Shields, which is kind of like Dick Sporting Goods for the Midwest in my holiday looks. So really nothing great at a home good. I got some little gingerbread men to either top cookies with or my coffee. Um, I'm not quite sure if they taste like chocolate or if they actually taste like gingerbread, um, but we'll figure that out and it'll be great no matter what. Got some coffee from my boyfriend. Usually at the store, it's like seven something and it's $4.99 at home goods all the time. And then I got these little gold bins for $9.99. Do I know what I'm gonna use them for yet? No, but did I need them? Yes. They also had a two pack of pink glittery ones for $9.99 that were bigger, but I feel like the littler ones are easier to figure out what you're gonna organize when you don't have a plan. So let's go to Target and then we're gonna head home. It's the holidays when you have to park so far away. Probably not gonna shop TJ Maxx Target next week Saturday unless I can figure out something I actually legit need and I have to take a trip for. And maybe come on like Thursday night or something instead because it's a little bit more manageable on the weeknights compared to the weekend. I literally know nothing about pomegranates, but I love them. Changed it up today, got a little pink drink with light ice. Okay, so I think I've decided that I'm gonna get my boyfriend a Lego set. Would you really rather have another sweater when you already have three that are practically identical or a cool Lego set and see what he says? He's really into like Pokemon, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, and I was looking at the Lego sets here and they have some really cool ones. So I could use my 25% off to get him a really nice Lego set, but We'll see what he says. Again, nothing too exciting at Target. It was so busy. I got some birthday cake bunny grams. Uh, Walmart's been out. I'm gonna use it with my red velvet edible cake batter. It's basically hummus, but cake batter. It sounds delicious. People have been raving about them on Instagram. I got that pomegranate and then I got this shirt. Every time I go to Target, I look at it and I want it. And right now all apparel at Target is 30% off. So instead of this being 25, it was 17. And I personally have been wanting it for a long time. So I got my light pink drink. Not really dinner, not really lunch because it's like two o'clock. Yeah, almost three o'clock. And we're having quesadillas for dinner and my boyfriend went and got Arby's at around noon. So we just need a little something to tide me over. So let's go to Taco Bell. Also, I've been thinking something fun for Vlogmas might be to do like a Q&A. So if you're interested in that, leave your favorite animal emoji down below. Mine's the unicorn if you count that as an animal, oh, obviously. Hi, I'll get one cheesy gordita crunch. Okay. Well, uh, one thing of the cinnamon twist and then a large of the dragon fruit freezy. Okay, just so you know, dragon fruit crazy, they just continued the uh, purple syrup that went in it, but it'll still be dragon fruit. Okay, that's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Next.
thank you next pretty sure i just showed my credit card such a bad habit you want this you want this are you ready oh you want some If you're wondering, the dragon fruit slushy from Taco Bell with no red coloring in it because they don't have it anymore is very like pina colada vibes. Like it tastes like it and it looks like it. Reese's and the Kisses Advent Calendar. I guess I'm not sure if they're different things or if they're all the same, but we're gonna find out. One, Reese's Pieces, one, 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 one,
I've bought in the palm kind before where it's just literally the seeds in a container, but it kind of gets mushy and it's not very fresh. So here's everything I peeled out. Here's all the garbage pieces. Now I just have to get the little pieces of skin that fell out out and then we are ready to go. So then I literally just sit here and eat it by the spoonful. Oh, I've got pomegranate on my screen. I wanted to show you guys the red velvet cake batter hummus I got at Target today because I was so excited to get it. I normally use this, the Sabra dark chocolate hummus. That's usually my go-to at Walmart and Target has that brand too. But what if the red velvet is better? I don't know. So I'm gonna try that out for you. I washed these a couple days ago, but they're already not the greatest, but that's the life of living in Wisconsin and trying to have fresh produce. I'm also drinking a Celsius, the sparkling kiwi guava. I also like the grape. I prefer the actual sparkling ones. I don't like the ones that are non-carbonated, which is kind of opposite of a lot of people. I know a lot of people prefer the non-carbonated ones, but so besides the fact that I've been eating out of this one, this is the Sabra and this is the red velvet. So one's a little bit darker, but they look about the same consistency. They smell pretty similar, but this one smells sweeter. So I'm gonna try the regular. And then a palate cleanse. I'm honestly kind of bummed. They taste so similar that this really isn't worth the $2 extra. This kind is like $3 and this kind is like $5. Mm. Hmm. I'm expecting something life changing. I mean, it's good, but it's not worth $2 more over this. And this is better because I can get it at Walmart and then I get a further 10% discount on it. I know a bummer. I also was planning on doing an iced coffee tonight so I could make a little something fancy and try these out on top of it, but then the time just got away from me and it's almost 10 o'clock and look how cute those are. Minus my really dry hands. Welcome to Wisconsin weather. As a single little itty bitty gingerbread, they really don't have much taste. I wouldn't go out and buy them because of the taste. They definitely look cute, but they aren't really tasty. They don't really taste like anything. Good thing is they expire September of 2023, so there's no hurry to finish these little guys up. Thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you come back and watch tomorrow's because I'm looking forward to filming it and I'm looking forward to eating it. Ooh, what could it be? Hmm. Thanks so much for watching guys and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!